Hey guys, this is Alex from 3dbrothers.com. In this video tutorial, I will show you how you can um, apply our motion packages in Motion Builder to your rigged characters. I will go to Templates, Characters. If you're using a 3ds Max biped template, just drag and drop this uh, this template. Uh, if you're using a, a regular rigged character, just use the character template. I will choose the biped mode. And in the character, I will rename it. So right here, I have the definition. If your um, character is not perfect, uh, it's not uh, in a perfect T pose, you'll have some um, some issues in here. So if I show you this. You can see that you are getting um, this orange bones right here, saying that the left arm doesn't seem to be parallel to the x-axis. So make sure that all your bones are zeroed, and then lock your character. So you have a, a green definition. Right to create the control rig. I will go to characters, double click on the test character and then go to character definition and choose create. I will uh, use an um, uh, forward and inverse kinematics character rig so that's all you, you need to do to to make your character Okay, to start moving the, the bones, make sure you are out of the selection mode. And now you can start moving the, the character. I see when going to full body mode when uh, moving the hand it will also move forward that's the the full body IK system working okay so that's that's all about the, the character rigging now let's see how you can apply an, an animation the easiest way is to go to the story tab and insert a character animation track here select the character right here you need to add the favorite path where you downloaded our uh, our animation. So I will add my my favorite path. And then here I I have downloaded one of the animation listed on our website. So if I just drag and drop this animation here. The animation on the control rig gets updated and it will play immediately. Our animation are recorded at uh, 120 FPS. Uh, it's playing a little hard because of the screen recording software I'm using but this should play uh, smooth on, on your computer so this is all there is to it and for example if you want to add another animation mix a couple of animation together you know, drag and drop an animation here and you can see that another animation is starting so it's it's like using a, a music editing software or sound editing software and to preview the the start and the beginning of each animation and you can see that that's a little snappy when uh, when it's going from one animation to another, but if you blend the animation a bit, 
to just insert them one into another you can see the transition is much smoother and it goes from one animation to another but for example if you have one animation which is uh, rooted to somewhere else so the, the first um, so it, its root location it's, uh, it's a bit farther from uh, the zero you can see that it snaps over there so what I, I can do is go to the match options and choose match to pro previous to previous clip I can also choose match object but I will choose match to previous clip so even if the um, the first clip is um, is further from the the point zero on the grid if I select the animation and choose matched the previous clip it goes there and like I said blending it will make the animation smoother I need to frame start then, so I will uh, populate my timeline with all the keyframes available. We can also use the, the story to cut the animation. So if, for example, there's a, there's a part that you don't like. You just select the clip, use the razors tool and cut it down. And this animation can be moved or or removed. And you can see how it blends to uh, from one animation to another. Very cool stuff on the, on the motion builder features. And from here you can choose the, the play rate that you like. Like I said before, our animation are shot at uh, one, 120 frames per, per second and um, that's plenty of uh, information for you to, to play with, with your animation. So if you're using them for filming or uh, some slow motion stuff. So that that's all there is to to placing um, our animation into your characters. The next step after you got the animation right in uh, in the story will be to go and plot the, the animation to skeleton. And this will record all the um, uh, all the movement that that is happening in the story. It will record to the bone animation. And if I deactivate the story, make sure that you are on uh, on zero frame though when um, when you are plotting, so you won't have any issues like like I had with the uh, the skinning. So make sure you're at at zero point. Turn off the story and now when when playing the animation you can see that it's all in keyframes right here but there are too many to, to display if I uh, resize um, the display grid it's showing me the the keyframes that has been created from the story animation alright so if I want to customize the animation even further I will plot again to control rig and now I get access to the control rig and I, I can um, add more customization to the animation and uh, another nice feature in motion builder is the layer system so you can um, build animation on, on top of 
another so you can use additive animation for example if uh, if I want to raise the hand at some point for example here I'll create a zero keyframe here right here I will raise it more place another keyframe okay, here and then place a zero keyframe here so you can see that it just started the, the, um, the movement on the layer below so you can do anything you want with uh, with your animation using the layer system if you want him to, to keep the head down during the talking you just add the key at the beginning of the animation and he will keep the head down for the entire animation or if you want him to get to the zero point so hitting the zero key will set a, a key which is um, which is equal with the layer below so it will get the position from the layer below I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and please visit us on 3d-brothers.com